in uh, Isaiah 65. So longevity will be tremendously available and popular. And you will find them building houses there in verse 21. They'll plant vineyards and eat the fruit. No longer will they build houses for others to inhabit. They won't plant for others to eat. As the lifetime of a tree, and trees last a long time, so will the days of my people be. My chosen ones will fully enjoy the work of their hands. This is an idyllic, ideal kingdom scene. They will not labor in vain or bear children doomed to disaster. Isn't that wonderful? And down the line, I think in that very passage, it says, if you die when you're 100, you'll be considered just a youth, or you'll be considered punished for dying when you're 100. Just consider a mere child if you died 100. So I don't know how long people will live, but they're not all immortal people. Of course, they're mortal people surviving into the thousand years, providing the population of the world of that new brilliant millennial order. And eventually those who succeed and prevail will become immortalized possibly in the second resurrection. It doesn't say for sure, but they guarantee the immortality that Christians now, true Christians now, are looking forward to.